Now, the arena at Earl's Court surrenders to the might of the gladiators. Last year, the services took a bit of a battering on the duel. In fact, they won only one round out of 24. So you can appreciate there's more than a little pride at stake. This year, the event is Pursuit. A course larger than this one, but it will be a little different in that the contenders have never had to share the assault course with the likes of Hunter and Rocket. Now remember, these people have volunteered for this and we'd better wish them luck because if the services lose as conclusively as they did last year, we could well be invaded before we get to the commercials. Ah, the familiar strains of the gladiators' adopted chants whips this once temperate crowd into a frenzy and their movements become one. An animal display of unity, they all have one goal, revenge for the forces. Chief Petty Officer Brian Richardson takes over as MC to oversee the proceedings. Let me introduce this evening's female contenders. They are from the Royal Air Force and the Royal Navy! Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to put a big, warm welcome together for our two female gladiators. Tonight they are Fox and Rocket. Okay, competing then this evening, we have in yellow for the Royal Navy, leading Wren Donnelly. In pink for the Royal Air Force, we have senior aircraft woman Harmer. The ladies have a 10 second start. Contenders, you will go on my first whistle. Gladiators, on my second. Three, two, one. Right, the girls get a head start. They've got to go round the cone and into the first obstacle. They better hurry up because the gladiators are top athletes. They've got a 10 second lead. The whistle should be going any moment now for the gladiators to start. There it is. And look at those girls go. The contenders are going to have to go pretty fast to beat these two, let me tell you. OK, the Royal Air Force have uh, taken the lead with the Navy close behind. They're going round the first bend. The gladiators are closing in and they're coming now to the webbing. The girls have to fling themselves to the ground, crawling along. It's horrible down there. It's very dusty. The RAF are out and up onto the overhead ladder. The RAF are doing very, very well, but it looks like Rocket is catching up fast now. Fox is bearing down on the Navy. I get the feeling it's only a matter of time before these girls are brought down. Rocket is going at a rate of knots. The Navy, however, are swinging along very well. Oh, and Rocket's got a girl. It's all over for the RAF. And look, the Navy are down sprinting to the final wall. Oh, and she's fallen. She's fallen to Fox. It's all over. He's okay. Oh, and congratulations all round. The girls did very well. You'd really have to go some to beat a gladiator. Anyway, let's see if the guys can do any better. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, we now turn our attention to the gentlemen of the evening. And the male contenders are from the Army and the Royal Air Force. They are the awesome Khan and Hunter! Hunter and Khan showing just how far spandex can stretch in front of a family audience. Mind you, from this angle, even they're dwarfed by the size of the course. And the male contenders for this evening, ladies and gentlemen, representing the army is Bombardier Murray! Representing the Royal Air Force, Sergeant Cripps. <laughs> Gentlemen, contenders, you will go on my first whistle. Gladiators on my second. There is just a five second delay before these hunt you down. Three, two, one. 
OK, there five go. seconds, head start. Will it be enough? The contenders are off to a great Come start, on. and they'll need it. Hunter's been starved and kept in a small box for two weeks, and we rubbed Bombardier Murray's vest under Khan's nose to give him a good scent. But I think he's rather taken to it. OK, the army are doing really well now. They're in the lead. They're just running around the cone to the webbing. They have to fling themselves underneath there because the gladiators are hot on their heels. The army's out first to the overhead ladder. He's doing very well. He's definitely in the lead. The RAF are on the overhead ladder now. But look, Hunter is bearing down on him. He better hurry up if he wants to stay ahead. Oh, Hunter had a little bit of a slip there, which means that the RAF chap is first to the high wall. And uh, in second place, the army at the moment. And, oh, he had a little slip there. I hope he's going to be OK, and they're coming round now to the bungee cube. This is a really hard one to get through. Very easy to get tangled up in there. Oh, and look, the RAF has been snared by Hunter, which means the army makes it through and takes the chequered flag. And the army there, the only victorious service on today's run, Khan found him just a little too fast. An exhausted Hunter there, and he had a good run for his money, but the crowd loved it. Your Royal Highness, that completes this evening's Gladiator Challenge.